All right, so I got one over root x, and then I got plus one over root x plus one. All right, so, so what do you want to do with that? I'm going to rationalize the denominators first. And how do you do that? Well, they're pretty easy to rationalize it. It's going to be root x plus one over the root x plus one. And for the first term, it's root x over root x. So what do you get there? You're going to get x in the bottom, and then you can get root x in the top. Plus, well, here you get x plus one, and then you get root x plus one on top. What's the LCD? <coughs> The LCD is x times x plus 1. Let me write this over here. LCD is x, x plus 1. All right, let's write this down. So it's root x over x times x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus the root of x plus 1 over x plus 1 and I multiply the top minus by x. I got the LCD in both cases. It's x, x plus 1. What do you get on top? Well, it's going to be, I got to be careful here, right? So it's going to be x plus 1 times root x plus x times root x plus 1. All right, now what are the conditions on this problem over here? You know, kind of looking at it, the original problem is, um, I want to point out what I mean by the original problem is. The original problem had these two terms in it. And what do I know about this over here? Well, the, the x, looking at it, the x has to be greater than 0. The number one reason you can't divide by 0 and the right hand has got to be a non-negative number and over here, x has got to be greater than minus 1. This is a more strict condition, by the way. So the condition over here is x must be greater than 0. Put a little box in this. And go look at the k. And you might see variation, by the way. You might say, oh, one day you did this way, one day you did another way. Let's take a look. See how we did. Am I seeing this stuff over here? Well, let's take a look. I definitely see that. I definitely see that. I'm seeing a plus sign, too, by the way. I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing the condition being clearly stated. Thank you.